All right, this is 333 Crypto. As always, I'm doing my daily DeFi update. Please understand everything I say is hypothetical. It's mere speculation. It is all conjecture. I am not a financial advisor, so please make no financial decisions based upon anything I say. The video is for entertainment purposes only. All right, folks, not, you know, got to talk about it. Got to talk about it because uh, what we're seeing in the crypto space is uh, amazing. I'll tell you, I got lucky on this one. Yesterday, I said sooner rather than later, we would see Bitcoin hit $33,333. And one of my wonderful viewers, Charlie, I won't, get, I won't say the last name. Uh, he's a friend of mine on uh, Twitter. He sent me this snapshot picture of the high for today. Um, Bitcoin hit a high of $33,333.33. Three cents. Now, if you're new to my channel, you'll know that I am all about three, three, three. And uh, if you're not familiar with that number, you know you can Google it and you can try to find out if there are meaning, there is a meaning in that number, or if numbers do or do not have meaning. I promise you, everything in your life has meaning. The fact that you are listening to me has meaning. There is a reason. Each step you take, each moment. Everything in your life that occurs is meant to be. And it is up to you on what you do with the moment that you're given, whether it is good or bad or happy or sad or painful or joy-filled. You have the choice on what you make of your moment. So try to look inward and see you know, why you're at where you're at and what you are supposed to do. So um, on my channel, we're all about DeFi. We're all about cryptocurrency. We're all about Bitcoin and Ethereum, um, and we're all about life. So I just had to share that. That's pretty impressive. I mean, you just can't, uh, you know, um, you just got to sometimes step back and go, hmm, right? I mean, what is it all about? Why am I here? Why was I born? Who am I? Um, who you are is who you choose to be. I don't care where you've been or what you've done or how you have screwed things up or how many successes you have had. From here forward, from this moment, from this day on, you can lead a life that is beyond anything you ever expected. All you have to do is make little choices every day that lead you in the right direction. And if you do that over time, you will have years of good choices. And those years of good choices will lead you to a wonderful place. So forget not, you are not a victim of your circumstances. You you must not let circumstance control attitude. You have to let attitude control circumstances. So, Charlie, thank you for sharing that with me. Um, I appreciate you tremendously. I appreciate all my viewers. But, yeah, what a high, $33,333.33. So that's cool stuff. So, anyway, let's get rolling here, and let's kind of see what's going on in uh, crypto and in DeFi, of course. Um, let's see here. We will go to... Right here, um, that's we're going to talk about that later. Let's go to DeFi. All right, so we only already chatted about Bitcoin, it's been on a run. Look at Ethereum, folks. Ethereum is at $773.46. Now, later in this video, I'm going to tell you a pretty slick way where I think you can own indirectly Bitcoin and Ethereum at a much cheaper price and with a much more uh, with a higher potential upside. Now, this gets a little tricky, um, but I'm going to try to explain that for you later. I have a hypothesis, and I'm going to share that with you. So Ethereum, if you look here, folks, just in 90 days, this has been on fire. I think Ethereum can go up to well over $1,000 very soon, and I do think we can see Ethereum up in the $2,000 range. If you look back just in October or November, um, Ethereum was trading at about uh, four to $500, um, and it's really just been on a, a tear ever since. I think what is going on here is people are becoming aware of Ethereum. They're becoming aware of Bitcoin. They're becoming aware of DeFi and cryptocurrency. Now, you might say, boy, you know, it's too late. But the truth is it's not because we are in the crypto space. We know crypto. But thanks to folks 
you know, like PayPal that are bringing more awareness to people about cryptocurrency, you're getting a lot of more, a lot of new people coming to the crypto space. And, you know, you can pick up Ethereum and Bitcoin uh, very easily now, whereas in 2017, that just wasn't possible. So I think uh, adoption is going to come a lot quicker and it's going to be a lot easier. And I do think we're going to see growth way beyond anything we saw in 2017. I know people are, people are calling for a retracement. I don't see Bitcoin pulling back till it gets to 100000 or so. And I honestly see Ethereum going to well over $2,000. That's just me. That's just my hypothesis. I may be right. I may be wrong. So I've talked a lot about Ethereum and Bitcoin in the past couple of days only because we need to pay attention to those. I focus a lot on DeFi. Um, and DeFi will follow, but right now we're going to see a bump in uh, Bitcoin and we're going to see a bump in Ethereum. We're going to see a bump in some of our, some of our favorites like Polkadot. Um, but I wanted to take a second, and I know I have my regular viewers, but I wanted to chat with anyone that might be new about the core token, C-O-R-E. And I'm going to show you why I think that is a great way to play Ethereum and Bitcoin uh, from a different perspective where it could give you even a greater yield. So let's start with that. So if you look here, C Vault Finance is the core token. It's trading at $3,184 per token, but there are only 10,000 tokens. That means if 10 million people were fighting over this token, you would see a significant price rise because there are only 10,000 tokens out there. There will never be more tokens. There will never be, well, there actually is less because they actually do burn some tokens. So there are actually less than 10,000 as we speak, but there will never be more than 10,000 tokens. So as you can imagine, as the demand for this token goes up, the price should rise significantly. Now, even if the demand doesn't go up tremendously, I do see the price, uh, the price will continue to rise. And I'm going to explain that real quick. So Listen closely, and I'm going to try to show you why I believe that will happen. Core is a token that is a vault token. It is the first token of its kind, and there are no other tokens that do this. And what is a vault token? Well, when you core can be bought, and it can be paired with either Ethereum, or it can be paired with Bitcoin, or it can be paired with DAI, and those pairs are staked. When Ethereum and Core are staked, um, you earn rewards, but those two tokens, when combined together, are staked together forever. And what that means is the liquidity in the Core protocol can never go away completely. It will always be there. It is permanently staked. And because of that, it will continue to grow permanently. And because, um, now I say permanently staked, when you stake it, you can withdraw the token pair and you can sell the pair on the open market. So you're not stuck with the core uh, ETH pair forever. But in essence, the pair will always be paired, which is why the liquidity is permanent. So a lot of folks think um, when, when they hear that the when you stake in the core uh, protocol, that, that the liquidity is locked forever, they think that means they can't sell their tokens and get out of the protocol. That's not the case at all. And again, it is only the paired tokens of core and ETH that is permanently staked, any pair in the protocol. So when you just buy in and buy out of the core token, which is what I recommend for most people, um, you can sell that and buy that anytime you want. Now, why would I recommend the core token and how can it get you ETH and Bitcoin um, at a discount or um, how can it potentially be more productive for you to buy the core token uh, if you're interested in ETH and Bitcoin? And I'm going to explain that real quick. If you look here at this pictograph, it says the advantage of core's permanently locked liquidity. Okay, it's going to talk about the, how the liquidity is locked. It says when core is sold back into the ETH LP, ETH are removed. When core is sold back into the CBTC LP, CBTC is removed. And, and what does this mean? Well, in each LP, in each pairing, it has to be equal, meaning, you know, just for the sake of keeping the math simple, if there's one core, there has to be one ETH. Now, Mathematically, it's a little more complex than that, but in each side of the pool, you have to have the same amount of token. So, and it's the same for the core Bitcoin pool. So as Bitcoin and Ethereum go up in price, they're going to pull core with them. And that is what I mean. Core is kind of an indirect way to benefit from price fluctuations in, in Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
meaning if Ethereum and Bitcoin double or triple from here, then hypothetically Core should follow and double or triple from here because if Core goes up, I mean if Bitcoin or Ethereum go up, then the price of Core has to go up to match that, to, to keep the pool balanced. So um, another way that that can be matched is the pool will buy more Core on the open market. Now this is where it gets really, really slick. The Core protocol has a bot that buys Core on the open market to keep the pools balanced and it also buys core on the open market to reward stakers. So as the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum goes up, the core bot will buy more core. Also, the core bot will reward stakers because as the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin goes up, you'll have more movement in the pools, which will generate more rewards. The rewards are paid with core. So the bot will buy core for um, any type of rewards for stakers. The bot will buy core when the ETH price goes up. The bot will buy core when the ETH price goes down. The bot will buy core when the Bitcoin price goes up. Um, and the bot will buy core for rewards when the Bitcoin price goes down. So there's a constant flux and movement in the protocol that can affect the price. Um, and again, um, it, it's real tricky. Um, and there are times where the protocol pairs will require the selling of core. But again, when that happens, when core is sold, if the Bitcoin price goes down and the core is uh, sold, you're going to have price fluctuations that cause the bot, bot to buy more core to reward stakers. So there's this constant buying, whether the price of ETH or um, Bitcoin goes up or down. And then there is some selling of core uh, with certain price movements too. But my point is this, there are only 10,000 core tokens. So in time, the value of the core token is going to go up and up and up. And if that happens, you might even have a core token that one day is worth more than the ETH or the Bitcoin pair. And then it will drag ETH and Bitcoin up with it. But either way, if you're a core holder, you're going to win because in time, the price of core is designed to go up infinitely. Now, it's a new protocol. I'm not convinced that, you know, it's absolute. You know, it is truly all hypothetical, but that is how the core protocol is designed to work. So again, if the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin goes up, then the, the protocol has to buy core to balance out the, the pair. And then if the price of Ethereum or Bitcoin goes down, you will have a little bit of selling of core, but the bot will be buying core to reward stakers. So there's just this constant price fluctuation and movement that results in more core being bought. And again, I just think that's going to make the, the whole protocol stronger and it will drive the core price up. So in essence, you can get exposed to Bitcoin and you can get exposed to um, Ethereum simply by buying a core token because the core token is, in, is, is basically um, influenced by their price movements. Now, there's a very other there's another very unique thing about the core protocol. Because core is linked with Bitcoin, linked with Ethereum and linked with DAI, there is a certain amount of liquidity called a price floor that the protocol forms. And that price floor means that even if all the core went to zero, you would still have a price floor because of the other paired tokens in the protocol that that are locked, permanently locked liquidity. And right now, I believe that price floor is around $1,600. So the core token, which trades for about $3,100, has a price floor of about $1,600. So what I'm saying here is the core token is very cheap, in my opinion. Because if you have a price floor of $1,600 and a, and a price on the core token of $3,200, then the core price would be the difference between those two in reality. So... Um, it's really just amazing stuff, folks. This, this core, people do not understand core. You have to understand core is early. It's really on no major exchanges. In fact, the only place you can buy core is you can get it on Uniswap for the most part. Um, a lot of, uh, the, this is where, you know, Uniswap is where you can buy it. You would need a MetaMask or some other wallet to do it. But the Dharma, D-H-A-R-M-A -A, a wallet or protocol, that's available to U.S. users. Dharma has a relationship with Coinbase. Um, you could set up a Dharma wallet in, a, in, a, in you know, 20, 25 minutes. You could fund it, 
and you could start buying Core, Ethereum, and Bitcoin that way if you're new, new to crypto. I really am a big fan of the Dharma wallet and I love it. So that is the key uh, with Core. Now, if you look here at this pictograph at the bottom part, it says even when all Core are sold back into the LP, the last Core token could still be sold for ETH or Bitcoin. But as you can imagine, it's as the number of Core go down and as the demand goes up, with only 10,000 tokens out there, this price could really rise dramatically. Matter of fact, if you look right here, there's not a lot of tokens circulating as we speak. Let me, let me show you that real quick. If you look here, these are the um, LPs that are minted right now. Um, this one represents the core Bitcoin LP, this one represents the core Ethereum LP, and this one is the core DAI LP. And again, these are all permanently locked, this liquidity. It's a large amount of money, but, um, you know, that's how you, in essence, are exposed to, to DAI, you're exposed to Ethereum, and you're exposed to Bitcoin when you trade the Core token. It's indirect, but it's exposure nonetheless. And that's what I love about Core. And these are the Core fees that are generated for stakeholders. And as you can see, those have gone up, on, up and up and up since inception. So, and if you go here, I find this extremely interesting. The total core holders is around 4,500. This fluctuates between 45 and 55. Again, the protocol is new, uh, relatively young. But this is what's amazing. I told you there were 10,000 tokens. There are only 2,457 tokens currently circulating. And the reason that is, is because so many are locked up in the protocol. And, and that is actually a good thing because staked tokens are building value. Now, I haven't even gotten into what Core is going to do. They're going to be doing things with arbitrage. They're going to be doing things with um, ultimately get into derivatives and things like that. They're going to have loans. Um, they're really just trying to build a financial beast. And I fell in love with Core because of the protocol they were building. And in some ways, they were a little lucky. And I, what I mean by that is when they decided to, the, the developers are brilliant. They knew that the two most important tokens in the whole uh, 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 cryptocurrency space were Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that's why when they founded the protocol, they paired Core with Bitcoin and they paired Core with Ethereum. And their foresight has turned, you know, has really been amazing because they were very fortunate and very lucky because since the inception of the protocol, Ethereum and Bitcoin have gone to the moon. And guess who has benefited? The Core holders and the Core protocol. This price of core, in my opinion, is very inexpensive. I am not giving financial advice. I am just telling you how I look at it. But I see a token here that can moon to 10,000 in no time. And I honestly believe core token could hit 50,000 within months and maybe even 100,000 by the end of the year. I don't know. Again, it's all speculation. It's all conjecture. It's all hypothetical. But that is how I see it. In, in essence, I, I don't like giving financial advice, but I do love sharing my passion for DeFi and crypto. I love good protocols. I love things that are wonderful and cool. And honestly, I think this is the best protocol I've come across in a long time. The last time I was this excited about any new protocol, it was when I was excited about Yearn Finance when it first came out in the end of July, um, around you know $900. So this one is cool, folks. You definitely need to check it out. You can go here. Here it is, uh, C-Vault Finance, the core token. It's trading at $31.92 on Uniswap as we speak. It's just really, really exciting and really fun, and it's really early. So I also wanted to share with you Dharma, just so you know. where you Dharma, in general, if you want to buy tokens that are not really mainstream um, or harder to get, Dharma is a great protocol because Dharma uses Uniswap. And most of us folks who are knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the space, we use Uniswap to buy tokens. So let me show you Dharma real quick. So this here is Dharma, D-H-A-R-M-A dot I-O. They are an affiliate of Coinbase. Um, they are powered by Uniswap. Connect your bank and invest in DeFi. It's that easy. Um, I just love, love this protocol. I found this recently, and I wish I would have found it a long time ago. It says here, the most powerful on-ramp to DeFi. So if you love DeFi like I do, this is the way to get involved, folks. This is so exciting and so fun. I just love this stuff. So why do I share this with my viewers? Well, I tell you all the time, my goal is to share you know, game changers with you. My goal is to make you see the light. My goal is to teach you things so you can make decisions on your own by using the wisdom that you gain here at this channel. So 
That is my spiel today on how you can inadvertently benefit from the DeFi, I mean, from the run up of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, and you can do that by uh, purchasing Core, in my opinion. I think Core is just awesome. So um, I'm going to do another video over the next 48 hours. We're going to get a little bit more into DOT and various things. But check out this wonderful Dharma protocol. If you search right here, there's Core C Vault Finance. Comes right up, trading at 3209 right now. Um, and it says here you can buy Core on Dharma. So um, just really fun stuff, folks. I can't believe the run that Bitcoin has made here. This is just so exciting. But I honestly think we are so, so early. I know it sounds crazy to say Bitcoin could still run from here. But I don't think $100,000 Bitcoin is far off. I don't think it's insane. I think um, the whole world's wanting to get into cryptocurrency as we speak. And it's going to continue. This is kind of like being, being involved in the stock market in the 30s when it all started. You know, It's kind of like getting in Google when it just came out and IPO'd or finding Apple back, back in the 90s when it was 6 or $7. That's where we're at with this, folks. This is truly kind of an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I just love it. I'm so excited. And maybe my excitement is too much. Um, if it is, I do apologize. But I'm here to share. I'm here to teach. Um, it's up to you to make decisions. You know, God know, uh, you know, just know that I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. God bless. And if you have any questions, um, just let, let me know in the comment section. That's where we chat. All right. Have a good evening. Bye.